Good morning. Today is an editing day for me. As a working wedding videographer, I get a lot of footage from different parts of the day. We have different audio running throughout the day. And so this is just a way that I have found to really sync everything quickly, to cull through the best footage quickly and to get all of my multi-cams set up properly. Um, this is the same process I use for YouTube videos and for just like lifestyle videos. And I wanna share this workflow because it's a really helpful workflow. The hardworking component of this is my Final Cut Pro library and the metadata that I have all inside of there. So I'll give you a quick peek of that, but then also let me know too if after watching this, if you want to see how I set up the metadata in the Final Cut Pro library. I like to just make sure that I use a lot of smart collections up here um, for just like a quick reference. But these right here are the workhorse um, collections, keyword collections uh, for my edit. So I have it organized so that like this is the one I'm working on and I'll have footage organized as camera one, camera two, drone, I do my Zoom audio is all from the DJ and then I have this like already renamed with these keywords that are going to match in here. And then Tazcam Groom, um, that's always on the groom and then these are just like the low cut copies. I select all footage and then import. And then I have it set up over here. I won't actually do it since I've already imported everything but I will go over here. So say I'm back over into my footage. I'm just gonna select footage because how I told you, these are already the, these are already renamed to be optimized into my library. So it's gonna form keywords based on finder tags and from folders. So it'll create a keyword collection when I import it based on the folder. You'll see it pop up over here and then I'll click on that and it'll like it'll show me just all of the clips that came in from that folder. I do select all and then over on the side, let's see, I'll show you. So it's like all of these here. Um, it'll be, I'll be able to insert camera name and I'll put in cam one or Rachel cam, Rachel's cam. And then that way I can see all of the footage that came from my camera. I'll do the same thing for my second shooter. And then that way um, it'll say cam Chris or cam two um, for my second shooter. And then that way I can go up here and I can say group by camera name. And so it'll, sh it'll group everything by whatever value I put over here. So it'll group everything by camera one and then camera two. And then what I really want to show is when with my uh, library template and all my metadata, I, I know that there was a first look and I know that they had letters. So I select all the moments from my second shooter's camera that were a letter reading. And I drag that right over into here. First looks letters. And then I see he also has the footage here from his angle from the first look. So then I drag that over here into first looks. So now we scroll down and I'm like, all right, now I want to get all of the ceremony footage. So I'm like, all right, this is where the ceremony started with the officiant coming. And then I just select all of this, everything with the ceremony, that's their exit, recessional, and then I take all of this and I drag this into the ceremony keyword collection. I already did it here, but they did introductions right into toasts. So I like to grab all of that. Looks like that was it. And this is gonna go, this would go down into toasts. You see how it just like, you just have to categorize it. And this seems tedious at first, but this only like, once I get a flow, it takes like 30 minutes maybe to do all of my clips for the entire day. For my second shooter's camera, I have now sorted his footage from the letter reading, the first look, ceremony, and toasts. And now I know that I have to go into my camera. So camera one, I know that she did a letter reading, which is right here. 
all of this stuff. I selected all of that, dropped it into the first look letters. And then I know that, let's see, first look, I selected all of this. As you can tell, it's already blue, so it's been sorted into a keyword collection. Drag all of that into first look's letters. All right, so now I'm gonna drag all of this into ceremony. And the little blue line shows that it's been sorted. Sorry, there is, landscaping is doing their thing out there right now. <laughs> So now this is the fun part where all of this literally comes full circle. So I come up here to ceremony sync and now that I have all the properties of this set up to be like, okay, so it's going to include all text um, titled ceremony, all text groom, officiant, preacher. I actually developed this process from another wedding videography team um, from White and Reverie. Basically everything in this smart collection, it should now include the audio and all the footage from the ceremony. Ceremony DJ. All right, and then all the footage from the ceremony. Okay, so now I'm gonna double click or right click. New multicam clip. This is so important. So new multicam clip, not compound clip not synchronized we're gonna do ceremony sync it can go in there use audio for synchronization definitely make sure that this is checked off angle assembly okay so we are gonna select camera name because that if you remember that's where we put like the grouping that we did so we select camera name automatic automatic um, format's fine. I'm fine keeping it at 59.94. And then, okay. And it's gonna work its magic. Okay, so this is the cool part. We're gonna double click on this, we're gonna open it. And then, as you can see, it sorted it out by the camera names that we put in that metadata. Otherwise, each one of these clips would have been like a layer, like another layer, another layer, layer. And it just would have been way too much to see on one screen. But yeah, so this is basically how I do this. Um, I just make sure that everything is camera one, camera two, you know, and then you've got your audio channels. And like I said, again, this is because when we imported all that footage, we went over into the, into the side information panel, into metadata, and we put in the camera name spot we put in camera one, Rachel, camera two, Chris. Um, so now, like say I'm starting my edit, right? Um, say if I want to, I just have my presets of um, the titles I like to use. So say if we want to now grab moments from the ceremony, we're gonna grab our in and see how like you've got, you're able to now see different angles happening all simultaneously and that is key into just picking the right footage the best footage for the final edit so I have to bring that down so say if I want to you know I'll always go up here and for audio I'm gonna select let's see audio angle and you can select which one you which one sounds the best I'll just do that this one is the one that sounds the best but like, I'll I'll go here and I'm like, okay, he's clearly watching her. So then I'll clip over here. Oop. I'll switch it to just video only. So I'm looking at this. I'm like, okay, he's looking at her. He's getting antsy. Clip of her coming. Because this is storytelling. You know, you want to have different sequences. People watching. Her coming still. And I won't use this entire uh, moment. I'll probably splice this up a little bit. But the great thing is that, um, you know, like if I want to cut it here, I can delete part of that just to speed up this storytelling for the highlight video. And then it's over here. And we cut back to him. He's getting antsy. Move the camera there, so then I would probably clip back to that. All right, and 
then now we want to clip here. As you can tell, I'm doing a really rough cut here, but you can see how um, just taking from the ceremony sink is just a game changer. Um, that's pretty much like how I like to set up my multicams. Um, I hope that this was helpful and let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe, all the things. It's really neat to gain clarity on um, if I want to talk about more like techie stuff like this or you know lifestyle stuff because I get it, you know, everyone's doing a lot of the same stuff these days. But um, yeah, I just, uh, I love all of it and I really think that this is just like a great system and I've worked with so many editors now that just really feel it just really feels like no one is doing this and it and it's a very when I get projects back from editors it's very messy and like I said when we jump into like the ceremony the um, sink like this it'll be like it'll be like 20 channels and I'm just like scrolling 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 and then even when you're trying to look at all of your angles like this um, you know settings it, this only allows you to see 16 angles so if you have multiple angles going on you can't possibly see everything so that's why it's important to not sort multicam clips by w without any meta metadata um, and to use a camera name or camera angle as your sorting method and then just sync it all to the audio.